hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this section of our tutorial i'll be taking you through surface area so in our previous lessons we dealt with finding the arc length or the length of a curve right so now you're going to find the surface area formed after revolving our curve around either the x-axis or the y-axis graphically if i draw an axis and i have a curve within this axis right if I choose my x axis to be the axis of a revolution, you realize that this will create a solid figure around what my x axis, right? And this solid figure will mimic what? It will mimic a cylinder, right? It will mimic a cylinder. So we are interested in the surface area created, okay? So you realize that the surface area created in, for a cylinder is always given as what? 2 pi rh, 2 pi rh, and that is equal to the surface area. Even if you have a function which is also parallel to the y axis, we can also revolve this around the y axis and you get also a solid figure around the y axis and it still follows the same trend. So, our surface area from integration is given as 2 pi y dx or 2 pi x ds. Now, the 2 pi is the 2 pi you see here, which is a constant. Our radius becomes what? The axis with which we are what? We are trying to revolve around if you revolve it around the x axis remember that the x axis becomes a center line right so the function y sorry the function x becomes your your radius when you revolve around the y y becomes your center line right so sorry it's the other way around instead so if you revolve right now see something i have my curve here right i have my curve here and i'm trying to revolve it what about the x axis I'm trying to revolve it about the x axis right so you know that once you are revolving about the x axis meaning that our function is in the form y is equal to f of x right so if i mean your function now becomes what y is equal to f of x y becomes the what dependent variable so if you want to find the center or the radius of this um new solid figure formed you realize that that radius becomes our function back again right so here we use y so just look out for the differences we use y when we are taking it about the x-axis okay when you're taking it about the x-axis and if you are taking it about the y-axis in this manner right in this manner you realize that you're going to have a function in the form s is equal to what f of what y right so at this point you are going to bring what x here so this x here is not just x we know it's a function of what y this y here is representing the dependent variables okay it's representing what the dependent variables so once you have your 2 pi x and your 2 pi y available the s is what is here now the ds is representing what the height it's representing the height okay it's representing the height of our solid figure fold after revolving our arc or our length okay so because of that we know that in our previous lesson, the s is 1 plus the y over the x all squared dx, or 1 plus the x over the y all squared y. Right now, I have a problem for us to solve so that you understand all that I have said. So, the problem says we should determine, we should determine the surface area, the surface area. Of the solid form of the solid obtained by rotating y is equal to the square root of 9 minus s squared within the interval negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 about the x axis about the x axis so let's see how we do this so as i was saying the first thing to do is what is to consider the function given and its interval now our function is in the form y is equal to what f of x we are taking x as an input x is our independent variable from the formula we're going to use what s is equal to absolute of 2 pi y ds this is because our radius, which happens to be the function itself, will be equal to what? y. 
in the course of integration i'll have to bring the value of y which is the function here here okay so that is the y here the y is not just y as you know it's just this function okay so the most important part of surface area is to find the ds the ds so to find the ds we're going to use the formula square root of one plus the expression dy over dx all squared okay dx out here now the next thing is to find my dy over dx dy over dx remember my function is square root of 9 minus s squared this is a composite function so to simplify this expression you know it is the same as 9 minus s squared all to the power half right so if you want to simplify this you first do what the inner function when i differentiate the inner function i'll be getting what negative 2x multiplying the outer function i'll get 1 out of 2 multiplying the expression so multiplying the same expression by the power minus 1 this is what you have done in our previous lessons when you're doing composite derivatives right so 1 out of 2 i'll have 9 minus s squared all to the power negative half is that not it yeah so let's keep on simplifying this more so when you break this one down we are going to get this half cancelling this and i'll have negative x over the expression square root of 9 minus x squared dx okay now the next thing is to bring it inside here i only found the y over the x so i need my ds which is square root of 1 plus the expression i've got here all squared that will be negative x over 9 square root of 9 minus x squared here yeah. everything squared dx so when i have something like this you realize that i'll have 1 plus x squared over 9 minus x squared i have my square root covering everything dx so at this point you just do some simple algebraic expression here algebraic simplification i'll cross multiply and i'm going to have 9 minus x squared plus x squared all over 9 minus x squared square root of this expression dx so this simplifies and this cancels so this is equal to square root of 9 over 9 minus x squared dx is that not it which further simplifies because square root of 9 is 3 so my ds 9 still becomes 3 over the square root of 9 minus x squared dx so I take my integral. Remember, the integral was given as the limit was negative 2 to positive 2. So, integral negative 2 to positive 2, 2 pi y ds is equal to integral of negative 2 to positive 2. Then, my 2 pi will have to come out. But the y is the same as square root of what? 9 minus s squared. Multiplying what? The change in s, which is 3 over square root of 9 minus s squared dx. Nicely, this cancels this out and our integral becomes so 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 simple right so our integral is simply equal to negative 2 2 or for 3 dx multiplying 2 pi here so when i integrate this what am i getting i'm supposed to get something as 3x okay so i'm getting 3x multiplying 2 pi our limit is negative 2 to 2 okay so once i do this simply i'll have what this to be what 6 pi x negative 2 to 2 so when i put 2 i'm getting what 12 pi minus the expression when i put negative to negative 12 pi obviously i'm getting what 24 pi as a surface area of my care thank you for being with me this video don't forget to like subscribe then we share